I got them little outfits that I'm gonna take a photo of them for Valentine's Day. Hey, that's Mama's. <laughs> <laughs> Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is actually like two o'clock, which I never get started this late in the day with a vlog. But this morning I went to the gym and then I had a play date and I've just been doing some things. And so we're getting a late start to the vlog, but I had some things I wanted to share with you guys. So I figured it would be a fun day to share just like an afternoon in my life. So that is what I intend on doing. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is my hair. Um, if you guys have been around for a little bit, you know I have been struggling with like not wanting to film unless my hair is like down curled and like perfect <laughs> it's funny that i'm filming today because my hair actually is clean but i didn't have time to curl it and so i just did these cute little braids which i feel like these are all over instagram tiktok whatever but it was just something so simple and fun and i felt like it made me feel extra cute and it took half the time because i didn't have to spend an extra 30 minutes curling my hair you guys get the point but that is not really what I want to talk about. I wanted to talk about some products that I recently found because they have been changing the game for like the dirty hair. So this is the product that I'm like completely obsessed with. It is a wax stick and it like gets all of those baby hairs back into like a slick back look. So for me, it's usually a ponytail. But if you guys can see, like I have all these little like, um, I feel like it's like breakage, but it's also postpartum. I don't really know. And anytime I put my hair into a ponytail, all of that just like falls out and is in my face and it drives me nuts. And so I saw this girl on TikTok use this for a get ready with me. And I was like, all right, it's $10. I'm going to try it out. And it literally works wonders. I filmed a TikTok trying it for the first time and I was literally shook. <laughs> now, the only con to this is, is it does stay in your hair. So I wouldn't recommend doing it on clean hair. That is what I did and I had to wash my hair sooner than I wanted to. But it doesn't like completely ruin your hair, especially since you're putting it like here. It's like kind of under the top anyways. But it definitely still feels kind of like sticky like the next day. But if you plan to put your hair in a ponytail for a few days in a row, this is literally life changing. This coupled with this little brush, I found this. I think this was like $7 on Amazon. This I found myself. I just thought it was super cute, but also it like gets every single hair back. And then I kid you guys not, I found the most perfect hair tie I've ever had in my entire life, which is saying a lot because my hair is really thick and it's hard to like get into a ponytail if the ponytail is too tight. Like I can only get it like two times around, but then if they're like bigger ones, they're always loose. And so this is like the perfect medium. It does not leave creases in my hair. It stays tight to my ponytail and I can imagine it would because it's so small to someone who has like less thick hair. And then it came in like a bunch of colors and I got a hundred of them for like $7. I'm honestly amazed by the quality, but I just had to share all that because I felt like as a mom with like postpartum hair, wanting to get ready quick, not wanting my baby hairs everywhere, that all is like game changing. So before we get into today's vlog, I did want to share something really quick about my podcast. If you guys didn't know, I have a podcast called Same Sis with my friend Brooke and we are doing a meetup um, on February 4th at a local park called Carter Menzel Oasis. If you guys are close, you should definitely come. We are just doing like a hot mom walk, hot girl walk and it's just gonna be like an hour long from like eight to 9 a.m. And we're just gonna walk and talk and make new friends and create this community that Brooke and I have kind of found in each other and we hope like we can create for you guys too. We're gonna be doing goodie bags for the first five people that get there. And we've been able to partner with some really cool companies. I have Pura that is gonna give us some stuff. I have Dime Beauty that's gonna give us some stuff. Um, Brooke so far has mixers and we're still trying to get some more companies too, but we're really excited about it. But I'm also really nervous because I want there to be people there and I feel like anytime you host something, you're like afraid no one will show up. So if you're a local, please come and hang out. Let's meet, let's be friends. I would love, love, love to meet you guys. And if you're not local, um, hopefully we can do something like in a different state in the future. But we did also create a Facebook group. Um, I don't know why we didn't do this sooner, but this is a way that you guys can all connect online um, with each other. If you're trying to find someone in the same stage of life, I swear that is so helpful um, to just like feeling heard and sane in whatever stage of life you are. So. I will leave that link down below. We're also doing giveaways weekly with really cool companies. So just go follow my podcast. I'm sure you guys will like it. If you like hearing me rant on these videos, I can talk for like an hour on there and it's a good time. <laughs> All right, enough rambling. Let's get into the vlog. If you guys saw my last vlog, you saw that I got some decorations for Valentine's Day. 
wasn't anything crazy, but over the weekend I did end up decorating. So I wanted to share with you guys what the playroom looks like and then some things we're putting in their Valentine's Day baskets. So the first thing I did was rotate their books. I love having seasonal books in here. I think it's just so fun and it gets them like ready for the holiday. And then I also did this little garland. I think it is so cute. It was pretty good quality. I think it was like $10 from um, Target. And I thought it was fun to just kind of hang it like that. I also got this garland, which I do not think is as good quality. Look at how uneven these are spaced. It's driving me nuts. I do think I'm going to take them off and like re-glue them to the string. But for now, this is all the effort I had. And I really do like the like XO itself. I think they're super cute, but I don't understand why they didn't make that very well. And then over here is where I just put the little heart and the little PB&J guy on the kitchen. Again, nothing crazy, but I just think it's a fun, like simple, cute touch to make it a little bit more festive. As far as their Valentine's Day baskets go, I don't have everything yet. Um, some of it is still coming in, but it is already like late January. So I wanted to share with you guys so that way you have time to order things. When everything comes in, I will make a Valentine's Day basket for you guys and I'll share that on either Instagram or TikTok or probably both. So if you guys wanna see this like completed, go follow me there. But we're gonna start with um, their little baskets. So the first thing is I got them little books. Um, eventually these will go on the shelves, but I wanted to keep them special for like Valentine's Day. And it's just a girl and boy version of love is whatever. Um, this one for Echo is just super girly and fun. It's like vibrant pink, but just about um, ballet. I'm not a dancer, so I don't really know any of this, but I thought that was cute and fun. And then of course I had to get Rocky the truck version. If you guys know my son, you know he loves trucks. And this has all different types of trucks in it, which I think he is just going to love, especially since he loves trucks. <laughs> we also got some new Cuddle and Kind dolls. I know you guys probably think I'm insane with how many I have, but Rocky has been super into these lately. He sleeps with the baby version, um, and then we have the bigger versions back there, and he has loved having the like little scarves on them. I took them off for this rotation, and Nathaniel put them back on, I can see, because that wasn't there this morning, but he is just obsessed with them. And so I got the middle version. So these are not the biggest or the smallest, but I thought they were so cute and they have like little pink cheeks and we don't have this like brown color of them. Um, they're little fawns, I don't know. I just thought they were super cute and fun. And then I got Rocky these little Paw Patrol figurines because he has been obsessed with Paw Patrol. These were like $10 for six of them which I did hear they actually have this kind of stuff at the dollar store, so you should check your local dollar store. But he has been loving just like playing with figurines and like pre pretending to like make them do things and feed them and make them go to sleep and like play doctor with them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited about that. The rest of the stuff has not come in, but I have it all written out, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I know that I got them both puzzles. I had a company reach out that wanted to do that. They're an Etsy shop, so I'll leave that link down below too. So I got them name puzzles. So Rocky and Echo will both have those. And then she also had little name tags that I could use for their baskets. So we got those too. Um, Echo has a company as well that is sending her a bracelet. I think it's gonna be matching bracelets with me. So I'm excited about that. I think that'll be super cute. And then I think I'm just gonna put some like candies into Rockies, just some like chocolates or some sort of Valentine's Day candy. I feel like that's a part of it for sure. And then Echo, I'm just gonna get her like puffs or something like that because we don't give her any candy right now. Um, and then also I got them little outfits that I'm gonna take a photo of them for Valentine's Day. This one is for Echo. It's just a little bubble romper with hearts on it. I thought it was so cute. It's from Target and it was like $14. So I thought that was a really good price. Rocky's has not come in yet. I got his from Etsy and I think his says love you and it's like a cream sweatshirt with like red writing. If you guys have been around for the previous years, I have taken photos with him on Valentine's Day every year. The first one has said like mama's my girl and then the next one it said lover boy. So then this one's gonna say love you. But if you guys didn't know, Valentine's Day is actually my birthday. And so I love doing that just to have like those to look back on of like what Rocky looked like and now what Echo looked like on my birthday, I don't know. And it's just cute, I just love Valentine's Day. I think it's super fun. Look out for Instagram for those. Um, like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below. I'm trying to think of like other ideas, but just anything your kid is into, honestly, I think I'm gonna get Echo a Tony's character as like her toy. I was thinking of doing the Peppa Pig one 
or the Doc McStuffins. I don't know. I don't really know what she's into. She's nine months old and she doesn't really do much but put things inside of her mouth. So that's why I was trying to go for like accessories or just things she could use instead of toys. But then I'm like, she needs a toy. So I think that's a happy medium, something for her to like listen to. So anyways, I'm rambling, but yeah, those are some ideas if you guys want to make baskets. I think making baskets for kids for holidays just makes things even more special and fun and exciting, not only for the kid, but for you as well, if you like that kind of thing. Gotta take this pile up so kids don't see it, but I just got a bunch of work done. They both slept so freaking good. It's like 3.15. Um, I'm telling you guys, finding just like the perfect wake window for your kids is so beneficial. Um, Echo was waking up early from her naps as well. And so we just recently bumped her wake window to three hours and she's sleeping perfectly again. So just constantly adjusting things, but I swear it is so helpful to just kind of pay attention to their cues and what they're needing. Anyone else's kids wake up and they just don't want to get out of their crib? Trying to get this girl to eat these days <laughs> it is a wrestling match. She just wants to play. Oh, you're so silly. What are you doing? Oh my God, I love you though. <laughs> Do you want to eat your toe? <laughs> He's silly. Are you a drink stealer? Hey, that's Mama's. <laughs> Judge us if you want, but. Nathaniel is done with his work, but it is 4, 3.45. And he took the kids to his brother's, and I'm keeping him signed in. You can judge us if you want, but he got his work done, and he's helping me, and yeah. So while he's gone, I am going to go through the kids' stuff. I can never go through their clothes because whenever I have the time, they're asleep in here. So I'm going to go through that. I need to just pull things that don't fit. And then go through like if I want to keep it or not. They also just opened an indie clover here in Gilbert. And you can sell things there. So I was thinking about asking my friend Brooke, the one I do the podcast with, if she wanted to go in on a booth with me so we could like sell some of the stuff to like you guys if you're local. I think that would be fun as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to go through this. I'm also going to chug this coconut water because when Echo doesn't eat well, it makes me nervous that it's going to drop my supply because breast milk is like a supply and demand. If she's not demanding a lot, my supply will go down. So, yeah, it's crazy. I only have a couple more months of breastfeeding, and it's been such a stressor for so long that it just feels surreal. But for now, I'm going to keep grinding on producing that milk. I don't what matters. Matters to you. But what do you want? I just found the cutest onesie What's in... Your her drawer, it was for six to 12 months. So it was like at the bottom, I didn't even know it was in there. This is from Kohl's. It's the Little Co by Lauren Conrad, and it is so cute. I can't wait to put it in that. So this whole bin is a bunch of clothes I'm saving for Echo, but I don't have another storage bin, so I need to go to Target. But once I get that, I'm gonna go through those bins and this to see what I would want to keep like really for a next baby and then what I would want to take to that booth. Also, this puddle jumper went on sale and I bought it for Echo for the summer and I cannot wait to just spend a summer in the pool with both my babies. Surprisingly, there was like nothing to get rid of. I feel like the two t-shirts still fit Rocky or like the 18 to 24 months and I need to put them on him before I like get rid of them. This is Rocky's closet. There is like crap everywhere so I'm gonna go through this really quick and just clean it up.
we have the same thing going on in this room. I just need another bin to put all of this clothes through so I can like go through what I really want. But that is all the stuff that does not fit Rocky right now. And I don't feel much better. <laughs> Speaking of Rocky, I do need to update on his potty training because fingers crossed, I feel like we finally made a breakthrough. Um, he went to the bathroom so fast last week, literally within like two minutes of being on the toilet he had gone, which that is like unheard of. And then a few days later, so it was like three days in between, instead of the five he's been like trying to wait, he went to the bathroom with Nathaniel, which he hasn't gone to the bathroom with Nathaniel in over a month. So that was awesome. I was at the gym, I came home and I literally started crying because Rocky just screamed, mama, I did it. So he got to his little like goal on the um, sticker chart I have downstairs. I got to get him this like little mean bus from Cars 3 and I'm really proud of him. The other thing is, is he's basically like trained himself to not pee in his um, pull up throughout the night. So I think once we're done with these pull ups, this is all we have from like the first pack that we bought. I don't think we're gonna buy any more. I mean, he literally will wake us up in the middle of the night if he has to pee, and if not, he will hold it until the morning. So, I don't know how we got so lucky with that. I mean, he is a really big rule follower, and we always tell him not to pee in his pull-up. So even though we dealt with like a lot with the poop, hopefully that will be something that's like easier for us, is no having to like potty train through the night. All right, now we're gonna go make some dinner. It is yet another gloomy day here in Arizona. I swear every day I've been vlogging has been gloomy, which is so weird, but it's actually so cold outside, which is also so weird. So today I'm making soup. I'm making chicken and wild rice soup. I think I've shared this many times. It is seriously so good. And especially when it's like cool outside, you just want to cozy up with a bowl of soup. So everyone was on board and I'm excited to make it. I am just going to slowly cook this since there are no kids at home asking me to do anything. Um, this has also been something Nathaniel has been really good about lately is once he's off with work, he'll take the kids to the park so that way I can cook in silence with like a podcast or a YouTube uh, video on. And it has been so good for just like me decompressing and it's been one of my favorite parts of the day. Especially since a lot of the time by this point of the day, I don't really wanna do anything. It kind of gives me that like extra push to want to make dinner, so. If your spouse is willing and able to do that, I highly, highly, highly recommend. That's so funny for me to clip her nails, but of course she didn't really do it that time. But this girl has been wanting to walk, so I'm gonna see if she'll show you guys. with her like this at the park yesterday for how long do you think? 10 minutes? 10 at the absolute most. At the most. <laughs> but it wrecked my back. My back is hurting so bad Did today. Did I not tell you to? I know rudely told me you're going to hurt your back. That was not rude. I was offended. Okay, she really wants the camera. Sunset. 
That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning My back hurts a stupidly amount from literally just walking with Echo yesterday. I always forget where I share things, but I'm pretty sure I shared here with you guys that I wanted to take January to like focus on my routines. And it's January 23rd, so we just have like a week left of the month. And I definitely feel like I've had like quite a bit of improvement with them. I'm not still like 100% where I wanna be, but we're getting there. Nathaniel and I had a date night last night actually, and we got to go out to dinner, um, a nicer dinner, which was super nice. And we talked about our goals finally. We just like have not had a second where we can sit down like uninterrupted, where we have the energy to do it. And so we finally did it. And basically what we came up with was we just wanted to like block our days and like for each role we're in for that day we want to like be the best version so for an example like for me from like 5 30 to 7 i want to wake up and i want to do some like self-care things i want to wash my face i want to get ready for the gym i want to put away dishes i want to stretch i want to read i want to like do those kinds of things you know and i just want to focus on that i don't want to be on my phone i don't want to be distracted by anything and then from seven to nine i go to the gym so i just really want to be in a good headspace there where it's like i'm working on my body i am taking care of myself i'm working hard in the gym i'm not distracted there and then from like nine to five i'm with the kids so i'm focusing on being a good mom and like i have to work in that time so i'm also focusing on juggling work and then from like five to seven it's like family time and then from like seven to nine at night it's like wind down time but then also time with nathaniel and Nathaniel actually came up with this, which is funny because we haven't really talked about the whole like routine thing, but like him wanting to do that for himself where like he wants that like five to seven in the morning to like go to the gym and work on himself and then seven to nine to focus on being a parent and then nine to five to really be good at his job and then the same thing for the end of the day. But it just fits so well into me trying to like solidify routines. And like I said, we hadn't really talked about that. So I really liked that. Um, and then I wanted to share too, just like what has kept me going for routines. Right now I did not want to put the dishes away. I did not want to clean the playroom. I did not want to wash my face. But something that has really been helping me is thinking about like tomorrow. Like tomorrow I will be happy that I'm not behind, that I put away the dishes, that the, clay the playroom is clean, my face is clean. Like I don't know why, but that has really just clicked for me to be motivation for me to do so. Um, I feel like it's because I already feel super overwhelmed with the day that if I don't do those things, I'm gonna be even more overwhelmed. So maybe that can help you too. But the biggest thing that we still need to work on is waking up at like 5, 5.30. We've been getting up at like 6, 6.30. Um, the kids are still kind of waking up sporadically, so I'm gonna blame that. But they woke up last night and we still got out of bed by six, so. I think that is progress for sure. But I would love to get up at five. I just feel like the six to seven o'clock hour goes by so fast, like it's not sufficient for enough. So anyways, it's 7.30. I got like my wind down routine done. Nathaniel just got back from getting his haircut. He snuck out right before I put Rocky down and did that. And so now we can just hang out for a bit and go to bed at a good time. So I'm really stoked about that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit different, but that's just kind of how my day looked like today. Um, I had some good help and I was able to get stuff done for myself and yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.